tell me who, who you think is the best chance to to win the cup. That's a great. Season. It's a good one. I, I think if you stay, the Eastern Conference is exponentially better than the Western Conference. I could probably give you for the next 25, 30 minutes. I won't five, six uh-huh. teams in the East that could easily win it. I think Columbus is the sexiest team in the league. I love their arrogance and confidence in the way they go about things and the way they're built around some youth with some key veterans in some spots. Columbus defending champions. I think they're the favorite out of the East. The West is little more of a crapshoot. It just is because LAFC had to have some turnover, but I still like what they're doing. Also keep an eye on them this summer. I think they're going to bring a big name, if not two this year, Antoine Griezmann, Lewandowski, Modric, whoever that may be in that line. Seattle Sounders, I think are the favorite in the West, but you and I could probably go through four or five other teams that could surprise teams because the West isn't on par with the East. I would say Columbus defending champions because they are game in and game out the sexiest team to watch I think that's the way I would go answering that question on February 21st. Didn't LAFC sign Loris as well? Uh, he's yes, now they in- did. World Cup winning goalkeeper, and they need that experience. And by the way, what does he speak? French? Who does he play with? Antoine Griezmann? Ha! Huh. Hmm. Interesting how that works, isn't it? it? Well, it's it's going to make El Trafico a little bit more interesting, right, this time around with the LAFC and the Galaxy because uh, – because the Galaxy, if I'm not mistaken, has improved its standing. The, 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 that's the team that everybody here in L.A. clearly knew Absolutely. until Will Ferrell and gang just came together and say, let's let's start playing, you know, in, in, in the old sports arena space. So what, what do you have for me there, Taylor? I mean, Rich, L.A. Galaxy is that old actor that's won six or seven <laughs> fantastic Oscars. Yeah, keeps taking a role where yes. you're like, eh. I don't know. Like they're they're trying to turn the corner so fast now because LAFC has come in, they're blown the doors off of marketing and everything else that now all of a sudden they're not relying just on saying, no, David Beckham's Lon Ibrahimovic played for us, come to the LA Galaxy. It makes it better. But mark my words, you're gonna call me before July 4th when that game's at the Rose Bowl and there's 85,000 plus people there. You and I are gonna be talking about a big name or two representing each team. I just believe LA after Copa America and the European championships are done, that is oftentimes historically when you see that 29 to 32 year old that's waffling between whether or not he stays or goes, they take a chance, they go for it. Both Galaxy and LAFC right now in February are talking to some big names. Tell me some names. Taylor Twelman here from uh, Apple TV on the Rich Eisen Show. MLS season starts tonight. Uh, some new names, some kids that uh, that have got some mm. serious ability to not just represent their their side in uh, MLS play, but for, for us writ large one day, Taylor. Rich, the reason why I'm so passionate about this league is about six years ago, the owners came together and they said, listen, we understand the magnitude of Zlatan, Messi, Beckham, Robbie Keane, Didier Drogba, and all of those names. But when Lampard, Gerard, and those guys came over and they didn't really do well, there was a needed to they they needed to reset. They have spent real money on young players now making Major League Soccer their league of choice to then move on to the Premier League, La Liga, and the Bundesliga. LAFC signed an 18-year-old from Venezuela where the Guardian listed him as the best player in the world under the age of 18. Mm. David Martinez is a special player. The how the heck LAFC convinced him not to go to Ajax, Bayern Munich, and other teams come to them first before he goes there. Fantastic one. Seattle Sounders, Pedro de la Vega. Another player that at the time you're saying there's no way he's going to go to the Pacific Northwest. They spend seven million plus. Guess what? He's now there. You've got guys here in Miami: Thomas Avales, Diego Gomez, who scored five goals in the Olympic qualifying. He'll go to the Olympics for Paraguay. I think he's going to uh, end up moving. Tiago Almada's a World Cup winning player. He stayed in Atlanta. He's probably going to go for twenty-five to thirty million plus. This league is better now because five years ago, Rich, the owner said. Hang on a minute. We got to get rid of that stigma. We're a retirement league. We got to now be in a conversation in the world market. They are. The average age for the player signed this offseason was 24. Rich, now all of a sudden you're going to get eyeballs that you weren't going to get because now they want to see your league for the next upcoming star versus the fading star that oftentimes this league wrapped their, their heads around. When when I said us, I guess I should have been more specific. Americans. What about American kids? What do we have here? 
Taylor. I, I mean, I, lo- I love the fact that you say that because I think that is the most important part to this. As, mm-hmm. as Major League Soccer grows, Rich, we still have to remember in 1996 when this league launched, the sole purpose of this league was to make the American player better. Right. And there are so many homegrowns this year that are coming from your local communities that are now going to play for your respective MLS club, look at Miami. They've got a player in Benjamin Kramaski that is playing for the United States. More than likely, he's going to go to the Olympics for the United States. Five years ago, he wasn't even on the academy, and now he's riding once a week to training with Lionel Messi. I mean, that that's literally how quickly this thing has grown there are Americans on every single team that are coming from the youth ranks through the pro pathway that rich makes me jealous. I'm only 44 years old. Mm -hmm. That's not that long ago where you and I were having conversations saying, I I hope we qualify for the world cup. I, you know, I kind of hope for a miracle. Now, all of a sudden you and I are talking about players at AC Milan, Dortmund, Chelsea, wherever Barcelona, two Americans starting in a champions league game this last week with Destiny. You see what I'm saying? There's now all of a sudden a conversation where the U S player is expected to operate at a high level. The question is, and you and I don't have enough time. Does that translate to the national team? I still think that's a bigger question. Catch the rich eyes and show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to three Eastern for free.